Hi everybody, Marco, KC2ZMA. I'm going to show you how I update the firmware on the Shock RF open spot. Okay, so I, connect, I disconnected it from my um, internet cable. All right, I have a micro USB cable here. And I have a paper clip here. And um, in order to put this in bootloader, uh, what I'm going to do is hold down very gently the reset button with a paper clip while I plug in the USB cable. And that's going to throw it right into bootloader where you could drag and put the uh, firmware right in there. So we're going to do, I already downloaded the firmware from the OpenSpot website. So it's, uh, I have right now in the OpenSpot, in the OpenSpot 101. So I'm going to put 108 which is the newest one as of what's today I'm recording this on uh, March 30th so I'm recording this and um, their hardware version if you look at the back right over here it says 1.1 uh, 433 I think it's because uh, it's, it's a I believe that's mean that it's 440 band I'm not sure uh, but so if you see over here where I download, it says 1.1, but then it says version 108 bin. So this is the file. So I'm going to show you the status lights as well, what happens here. Yeah, just trying to juggle all this stuff. It's a little bit difficult. So I'm going to gently, the reset button here, I'm going to gently push that down. You're going to see the static lights here go crazy once I plug it in. Actually, once I plug in the USB, I want you to hear what's happening too with the USB connecting and disconnecting and all that. So I'll put the volume up loud so you can hear that on the computer. Okay. Here we go. I have that plugged in. Plug in the USB. Let go. There we go, you saw them turn, turn red, and now you see them flashing green back and forth. You just heard the computer go, that it recognized the USB. And I think, hopefully, see what happens. Yeah, there we go. Pops up uh, the files right there. I'll bring the camera a little bit closer so you can see that. Okay. So, see the status is still going. So, don't really worry about what it says there. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is take the file right here, just drag it right into there. Take it, drag it, let go. See, there we go now. There, let's look at the open spot, and you can see the screen there. Sorry about the glare. I think you're seeing. I think you're seeing a little bit of glare there. Yeah, Trying to get rid of that glare, but just let it be there. It's a little bit on the bottom there. And they I think it says it takes about a minute or so. Uh, so the the that's called that's the status lights there. When it's starting the burn the file there. Yeah, I just wanted to show you everything, exactly what happens and exactly what you hear with the USB connected and disconnected for the open spot. So is it 706 kilobytes? And it's still going. It takes about a minute or anything, I believe. Maybe a little bit longer. There it goes. There it. 
and there it goes. That's what you see right there. So you see success. Put the camera a little bit closer. You don't want to move it too much. And that's what you want to see. And now the open spot, now the green light's in status now. So I said the firmware is loaded. Disconnected from the computer. Hook it up to the internet. Back up. I'll show you how I have mine set up and everything else. Uh, so um, there it is. It's complete there. So this is where it goes out to the internet <laughs> with the uh, open spot here. So there's my um, uh, cable router, right? And I got some power over there, some plugs there. Go up. My wireless router is upside down in my apartment here because I um, get a bit better signal. That plug over there powers the open spot. So here's the open spot. Here's the... Uh, Internet cable, here's the um, power, micro USB, antenna. I have it up high here on a, a shelf right here. And of course, this is how I should turn it on and shut it off. It just hangs. Uh, basically just hangs there. So I turn it on and shut it off. There's a hadn't really ne never issue for uh, unplugging it by shutting it off since there's no uh, power switch on the uh, open spot. And it, once I plug it back in, it configures where I left off. So, um, um, never had issues. I'm sure you shouldn't have either there um, if you do it. So, here's my power switch. Plug it in, plug it off, and it's all up and going. And this is the way I have it set up um, in my apartment here. So, I'm going to show you now the um, the configurations now we're gonna get inside the device um, so in order to get to the shark RF open spot uh, since it uses a um, kind of like a web browser inside built inside the shark RF if you go to the website sharkrf.com this is the main page go to open spot now go to user manual so we put in the 108 firmware and every time they do they do a new firmware uh, they update the user manual and there's a lot of information here about the new I haven't read through it there's a lot of information about the new uh, firmware now if you don't know your IP address of the open spot when you have connected just keep going down you just have to in the address bar of your web browser. I'm, I'm actually using Chrome. You could use uh, you could use Edge. You could use just about any uh, web browser. Just click on this link. So HTTP openspot.local and this is the web browser uh, web page of the open spot. So here's the IP address of the open spot right now. And default is open spot. That's a default um, password to get to log in. Okay, let's log in. And here's the interface. So you have the status tab, connectors, DMR, texting. I think it's a uh, texting right there modem connection settings log out down a corner here you have um, advanced mode click on that and it gives you more menu choices so it kept all my settings so I'm on DMR I'm using the op open spot mostly on DMR um, so 436 100 simplex I kept everything the same um, I have a connector, so obviously I have it connected, <laughs> plugged in. All right, so I'm going to be able to get in. So you got standby right there. And here's the hardware version right here. So in the back of the open spot, it will be the same. So it's version 1.1 there. And here we go. Software version 0108. Bootloaders 0004. Okay and a whole bunch of other stuff so that's the status of what's going on ok 
connectors. Uh, make sure you have the advanced mode selected. Homebrew is DMR, uh, Brandmeister. I believe it's strictly Brandmeister, I'm not sure, but it's DMR. Yeah, because you have DMR Plus, you have D-Star, DCS, reflectors and RAF reflectors here, system fusion, and you have a whole bunch of other stuff here. And here's the DMR AutoCal. Um, make sure you do this before you transmit on DMR. If you're using DMR for Brandmeister or DMR Plus. So make sure you um, follow the instructions by calibrating your radio for DMR. Okay, leave it the way it is. Uh, private call. Um, this is the clear channel. Talk group 4000. Talk group 9999 is actually um, Echo. So here's my MD380. That's uh, USA 3100. New Jersey, New York, Talk group. Texas, Talk group. Clear. Echo. Let me see. Let me do. I'll do an echo quick. KC2 ZMA. Do an echo test. KC2 ZMA. KC2 ZMA. Do an echo test. KC2 ZMA. Now you want to make sure you disconnect to a from a, a talk group. Disconnect. So just clear that. I don't know why it does that. So this is going to say clear when it can chunk 4,000 talk group. Not linked. It just said not linked. Okay. Uh, and you have the, I have just a few talk groups in here for Brian Meister. Uh, Texas, New York, yeah, New Jersey, USA there. Um, so I'm using 436-100, and I kept my call sign, everything's defaulted, DMR ID, so it didn't erase anything, everything is still working. Sometimes that could happen, I'm not sure, I never, I've always, I've had success of updating firmware, never really had any issues. This is, I believe, DMR texting. Modem connection connections, and this is where you want to connect to. What do you want to do first? So, if you want to do DMR, D Star, or Fusion, and these are the connectors, which is the talk groups and the reflectors and everything else on top here. So set this first before you set connectors. Settings or. Not sure. Other things are going on. So they, some things have been changed. Just leaving everything the way it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's just so. That's um, um, all the stuff there. And this is a log out. So if you want to log out, you just log right out. And back to the screen right here. If you want to save this address, you can save it. You know, save it your bookmarks. And if you don't want to go to that tab, like I talked to you about there, you want to go straight here, there. So, uh, thanks for watching.